Acha, can you shorten it a little bit? They wanted to shorten the liturgy. They wanted also, Acha, in the Pentecostal church, they're having the drums and they're having the guitar and the piano. Can we have that also in the Qurbana? The kids love the music. That's why they go to the Pentecostal church. And so they ask, let us add all these things to our Qurbana. My brothers and sisters in Christ, my father to this day cries at night, and I've seen it, because he knows he lost two decades of youth, because he made the wrong decisions. And I don't blame him or any of the, the senior priests, because it is through their hard work that I stand here. But I learned from what they did and what the, what the lessons that they, they, they took. It, and I thank them each and every day. But it is silly for us to go back and redo what they were doing and see that every decade that we continue to fail and fail and fail. They allow our church to conform. See, the thing is, as an American, and I'm an American, as a person of the West, born and raised. I didn't want to change the traditions of our fathers. I don't want necessarily that we should change our Qurbana. What we've seen, and what I've seen as the General Secretary of MGUC Islam for All America, is that the youth of our church want to keep the faith they don't want, they want us to build a wall to protect the traditions of the fathers. So much so that in our generation, we have translated the Shema. The, the Shema was translated into English, the Shema prayers. And these Shema prayers are translated into English, and so much, and, and our children want to do those prayers. <laughs> 